with a cup of coffee in my hands. A warm welcome to Saturday, the 30th of October 2021. And many thanks to all the people who watched the video 1 p.m. Western Time, Pacific Time, all related to Team Seas, how you can create awareness and help the seas that we live all around us. Now, what's happening in the show? A bucket load. Let's do it. Let's start off with what most people want to see here, the Free Gorges Dam and information related to that. This is from Chinese state media, an estimated 24,000 dams, energy producing dams, which they say produces 18% of the elect electricity in the whole of China, 18%. Now, with wind and solar and some other renewable energy, that is pretty remarkable. And do I believe it? No. I am going to use the expression I haven't used for a long time. A pinch of salt is how much I believe this in China. But let's have a look at the levels anyhow. The webcam, surprise, surprise, once again, yep, it's doing a yo-yo. It's gone down again. Now, please do note that these levels are from the Free Gorges Management Corporation. So, transparency in China, well, we all know about that. Seems to have gone up even further. Yesterday, in a 24-hour period, 174.5 going all the way up to 174.75. That's 25 centimetres away from that number of 175. It got very close a little bit earlier today. Again, it's Saturday the 30th, my time. 600 kilometres up from the actual dam itself were at 174 point something or the other, did shoot up way above 175 and then had this sharp decrease for whatever reason that is, down to 170, where you can see it on the graph there. Yes, I need to get bifocal glasses or to improve this or to get better lighting in my little studio, which is another step on my list, on my bucket list or things to do. Let's have a look at the weather over the next, you could say, 72 hours or so. And as always, the hand is by the free gorges. You can see some rain coming from west to east of China, mainly around, but not actually directly hitting the Yangtze Basin. And as I said, a spitter spatter, a little showers here and there, but nothing as drastic as you had in Hernan province earlier this year when you had like 600 millimeters of rain in the space of a 24 hour period, which would be the equivalent of the annual rainfall per year there. So there's the weather. A headline did pop up like this in China news. China's free gorges dam, the environmental impact of mega dam construction. The Free Gorges Dam is the largest power station in China and is also considered the largest hydroelectric power station in the world. But the construction of these mega dams has taken a heavy toll on the environment on, and on the communities living nearby. Now, we have talked about the fish, we have done landslides, we have done silt, we have done all this, but very little about the communities. And when the Free Gorges was built, over one million people were resettled, supposedly. Oh, bunny rabbit ears, there we go, supposedly. And were they happy? Well, living in, let's say, farmland all their life. Not rich, but you could say this is their life. Suddenly being moved into a block of flats and say, everyone's really happy. Would you be? Here are some images of the people who got unfortunately trapped not just about the Free Gorges Dam, but other mega dams in China. Now, there are 94,000, but we're just talking about 24,000 of these biggest dams in China that do produce supposedly, bunny rabbit ears, 24, sorry, 18% of China's electricity. But they still seem to have some outages or power 
the blackouts or rolling blackouts. Have a look at this. I do have some more news a little bit about the dam a little bit later on, but let's go into the China headlines. And this one related to COVID is back in China. Beijing requests Universal Studios theme park to enforce COVID-19 emergency status, whatever that is. I don't know if you know, but a couple of months ago or six weeks ago, Universal Studios did open up in Beijing and the propaganda is saying that it is a success. There's been many foreigners who've done their videos there. Uh, a lot of the Chinese people like to go to Harry Potter world. Don't know why, but anyhow, it's the same as the other Universal Studios, but it's the latest in the parks there. But COVID again is in China again and spearing its ugly head. Some other news about coronavirus in China. Ruli subsidizes residents and businesses affected by strict epidemic control, sets no resident. Two trains to Beijing urgently stop for COVID-19 risks. These are the measures that they're taking. Have you noticed how they have downgraded it to an epidemic and not a pandemic? I know many countries are trying to do that and because they have low numbers. Yes, China supposedly, bunny rabbit ears, have low numbers. But as I said countless times before, transparency in China, if it's one, it possibly equals 1,000. Not very good at adding the extra zeros at the end of that, unless it comes to some fat leader's paycheck where they're happy to put some extra zeros at the end. Here's a thought for you. Xi Jinping's salary is 2,000 American dollars per month, but how come he's got 1.5 billion dollars? Question mark. And talking about good old Xi, he is or has been having talks with Boris Johnson, the UK Prime Minister ahead of COP26 underscores China's pledges on climate change. And there they are saying increase coal output, increase coal output, increase coal output. So is this a change for the worse to go back to maybe 10 years ago where 200 or over 200 days in Beijing, it was unsafe to go out? It's actually quite interesting. If you go to your weather application on your iPhone, for example, and if you just type in Beijing, you can say unsafe to go out, which is really scary because <laughs> you would hardly or very rarely have this in any other country in the world, but China does. Possibly India as well, places like New Delhi are not good for pollution. A quick mention about this guy. This is, I don't really know his name, a very famous basketball player who plays for the Boston Celtics. And he was wearing some trainers saying, free the Uyghurs in Xinjiang. And this got, um, well, the game was actually banned in China. In other words, they didn't broadcast it because it's propaganda. He's not backing down from this. And you sort of say, why can't he wear uh, gym shoes that he wants to wear? Yeah, or his basketball shoes that he wants to wear. His father has just been freed from a prison for seven years in Turkey and supporting the world's narrative. Now, the world's narrative that the, there is something and there's quite a bit of more or less circumstantial evidence. And you can see this quite easily by going to YouTube reports with D, uh, DW documentary or The Guardian, which I have covered before on this channel, related to what's happening in the Northwest. And it needs superstars to promote this and the uh, how to say life is not always about money once you get to a certain amount for example a billion dollars do you need any more well the answer is no not really so this guy well done for whoever this guy is the nba star from the boston celtics with his running shoes and supporting 
the world's narrative of what may be happening in Northwest. We just need true evidence. But like COVID-19, the origin, do you think it's ever going to happen? And the answer is, I can say not really, to be honest with you. Okay, some messages. These were a couple of emails from a subscriber of mine, James. When the Free Gorges Dam finally fails, would you be allowed to fully report on it? Well, I don't see why not. It would have to have to come from sources and like the freedom of the press, I think I totally can. But is it going to happen in my lifetime? I don't really think so. I think there's going to be more cracks and more leaks and more problems that these are going to be solvable. But over time, I think this actually may... <whistles> 30 years, 50 years. The engineer, uh, Mr. Wang, if you go into articles, he is a, a engineer basically saying it's not... Uh, it's been around for 20 years so far, so to speak, pretty close to that, and it may only have another 30 years to live. We honestly don't know. We just have to rely on experts and people who've been there or involved in the actual engineering project. This is the secrecy and the bureaucracy of the Free Gorges. One more message from the same gentleman, William. Do a side-by-side -side Hoover Dam versus Free Gorges Dam Battle of the Titans. Lake Mead is more than just a river. 40 million people will be without power and water soon at yeah, Las Vegas. Now, the I did actually see a TV program years ago about where does the energy come? Where does the power come from for that Las Vegas? You see all the flashing neon lights, etc. It's a big electricity bill. And I remember this video actually saying it doesn't all come from the Hoover Dam. It actually comes from the, a lot of the majority of China. I'm not an electrical engineer, obviously. So, um, yes, I think there will be, but not a total. Again, according to this program that I watched oh, maybe like two or three years ago. You can Google where does the power come from uh, for Las Vegas, and I think it would actually come from the national grid, not solely just the Hoover Dam. Originally, yeah, when the Las Vegas started to materialize. It did, but as it grew, I think it's more on the national grid. But if I'm wrong, please tell me. Thank you. Now, yesterday I did put out a, or a little bit earlier today, I did put out a video related to Team C's. And I will show you a little snippet here, or you can see it while I'm talking about what we can do. Telling people about disposing of your plastic correctly, educating people not to just throw plastic on the street, etc., etc. It ends up in the rivers, the rivers go to the oceans, and the oceans eventually, it goes to the wildlife. And this is a national sort of day, or a national day on YouTube, to be aware of this global situation. And every little bit helps. The education is the main source but if you want to donate money, then go to the video on my channel. You can see it and you can see a link there. That is about it for today. Do watch out for some special videos coming today, tomorrow, because it's Halloween. 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 Darkness, Darkness falls across, across the, the land. land. The midnight the hour, hour is close at hand. hand. And, and those who fail to search, search for blood, blood will terrorize your, your neighborhood. neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> a, oh, I did a sniff there. Sorry. Never mind. Edit that bit out. Beep. A like, subscribe, share would be wonderful. I will see you on Halloween on Saturday, Sunday, 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 the 31st of October. Be good, have a great night, have a great day, have a great afternoon, have a great morning, wherever you are in the world. How to say in English, ta-ta for now, bye-bye, bunny rabbit ears.